All right, guys, so it's uh, day two now of my uh, EV road trip. I uh, ended up just staying here uh, last night at the uh, rest area, the rest stop. I uh, charged up the car all up to 100%, and I left the car in utility mode. So it's like camper mode. If uh, you guys are familiar with Teslas, they call it utility mode in this car. And so I'm down to 95%, used about 5% of the battery. Um, it's uh, almost six in the morning now. It's like 5:45 in the morning. The sun to rise, as you can see there, it's coming up, and we got some nice views of the uh, eastern Sierras as the sun rises. But uh, I'm gonna head now to the uh, Bristlecone Pine Forest. It's about an hour drive from here, and. Uh, that's why I kind of decided to stay here because it was a little bit, uh, I wasn't really sure if there's anything in between. It's kind of in the mountains and nothing there. So anyway, um, a better route planner says that uh, consumption, battery consumption is going to be quite a bit going up the mountain. I think it's like a good, another 4,000 foot of elevation gain at least. We'll see. Should be some good views up there and hopefully I'll get some good flights in. All right, so I've made it to the top. This is the uh, ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest Visitor Center. There's no one here. It's about 
7.40 in the morning. I'm pretty sure they're not open yet. But car is doing pretty good. Not exactly sure how much battery I ate up. I'll, I'll tell you about that later. But there's nobody here. It's freaking freezing right now. I think it's because we're pretty high up. Not exactly sure. Probably at least 9,000 feet way up. But I'm not exactly sure where these uh, famous trees are. I mean, I can kind of tell they, they look like these, I think. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go hiking anywhere. Anyway, so there's some information. It looks like this is the main area right here that we're at. I heard there's some more over here, but this is like a dirt road. You need a four, uh, like a, a four-wheel drive vehicle. I'm not going to go there. No, no, I'll take a look around. Uh, it looks like there's a... Uh, that sucks. Two-mile trail. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. That's a bummer. All right, that trip up here from the rest stop, I was at 95% battery. I'm at 67% battery. And it was not that far. Uh, you know, I think it was maybe 50 miles. So yeah, it was a lot of elevation gain and it's too cold outside to go hiking, at least for me. I didn't bring, I didn't bring warm clothes with me. I've got kind of like shorts on, it's 35 degrees outside. So I'm gonna just fly the center whoop. And there's enough uh, bristle cones here. I can fly around, should be fine. I found a random uh, spot here. Pretty looks pretty awesome. Gonna try and fly it with the uh, Camaro Seven. guys so I've arrived at the um, Caltrans District 9 office here in Bishop and they have a DC fast charger right there I'm going to plug in just for a short amount of time I um, actually don't really need to charge I have 68% uh, 164 miles left the next charger that I'm going to hit is in Bridge Bridgeport I think is what's called it's like 100 miles from here so I could definitely make it um, but I'm gonna actually eat some breakfast now uh, for like the next 10-15 minutes so I might as well just plug in since I'm here and it's free and well this will be the last free one for a little while I think the next two I have to pay for but it's been nice I've driven 368 miles on this trip so far and haven't 
paid for charging it. Yep, so uh, this one's just like all the other ones. Uh, look at all those bugs. <clears throat> yeah, might as well just get a little bit of free juice here. It's, uh, you know, um, while I'm eating and just uh, sitting and waiting anyway. And uh, I don't have to pay for it later. Guys, so I'm gonna throw up the um, Air 2S to check out that geyser. Usually, you only find those things at like Yellowstone, but you know, obviously, you can't fly drones there. But it seems like it's okay to fly it here. Super windy right now, so this is the only thing that I'm, I'm confident in flying without losing it because it says pretty good uh, wind resistance. Anyway, hope you like the footage.
Well, this is Mono Lake, and unfortunately, no drones allowed. So my uh, my trip here will be really short. It's an interesting spot. I'm not going to go walk all the way out there since I can't really get a good look at it with the drone anyway. But let's see here. Whoa, it's zoomed in too much. Yeah, it's pretty windy right now too. But that's what it looks like. The, the interesting part's way the hell over there. Is this guy right there? I was hoping to take a look at that with the drone, but apparently not. Alright, moving on to the next spot. I think the next spot's gonna be the uh, charging station. Here's another view of the lake from the highway. This one actually looks better from this vantage point. So we made it to uh, Bridgeport, and this is an Electrify America station, and plenty of charge still, 41%, 99 miles on the GOM. Not sure what I'm going to do here. Um, I may just charge a little bit and then go to the next charger, which I think is in Gardnerville in Nevada, uh, because I'm going to be heading into Tahoe for tonight and then uh, hitting some spots tomorrow in the Tahoe area, um, but uh, I haven't figured out which uh, chargers I want to hit. I don't need to stay here very long, I don't think. Um, I do have the, uh, was it the $4 a month um, Electrify America Pass Plus, so you get a, a better rate on the kilowatt hours. I think it's 31 cents a kilowatt hour instead of 43 cents a kilowatt hour, but I don't think I'll be charging too much here anyway. So far, um, since the beginning of the trip, uh, 476 miles on basically uh, free charging. Uh, I didn't uh, spend any money on charging yet. And four stops at four different Caltrans uh, DC fast chargers along the 395. So uh, it's been working out pretty good so far this trip. All right, getting that charging session was uh, started was a little tricky. I usually just use the app and start there, but I guess my uh, cell connection is not so great here. However, the uh, tap to uh, pay option, you tap your phone uh, to the little uh, RFID reader, that works. So I'm getting uh, 73 kilowatts. That's almost the max. I'm, I think the max I get on this is like 70, 75, 76. Yeah, but 73 is pretty good. Should charge it really fast. All right, so it's a quick little summary of the trip so far, at least in terms of the EV charging. Uh, we're super quick here, and you know, some of you guys are like, well, why were you charging at the slower chargers even though they were free? So I may have saved 10, 15 minutes each of those chargers um, if I had chosen like an Electrify America charger at this faster speed. But um, I think they're actually, I, I actually like the, uh, prefer the brakes. And this break here is going to be a little bit too short for me because uh, I, you know, I, I, I want to do some other things, but I have to unplug and then probably hit, hit the road again. So I actually like the slower charging, believe it or not. Uh, it gives me more time to sort of um, get a mental break from the driving. And 
you know, the extra 10, 15 minutes isn't a big deal over the long stretch. So that doesn't really bother me too much. Obviously, if you're in a hurry, you know, you want to get on the, ba the fastest chargers and, and, you know, charge up and move along to the next one. But uh, I went in four charging stops. I was a 400 some odd miles I mentioned, uh, 100 and I think it was 113 kilowatt hours in total and they were free. Now, who knows if they're going to be free for much longer? I mean, uh, they may not be free for forever, but it's, um, you know, if you go up to 395, check out those stops and, uh, you know, it's still, uh, it's 50 kilowatts, but it's still, it's still free and it's still fast enough, I think, in my opinion. All right, so I'm up to 64%, 18 kilowatt hours added, $5.27. Uh, it's going to be more than enough, I think, to get all the way into Tahoe. I'm not going to even bother stopping over in Gardnerville. I'm going to go straight in. Uh, should be fine to make it. Uh, it is uphill. I have a little bit of buffer, but I think I, I should be. I should have no problem.
All right, so I've made it to the hotel I'm staying at tonight. They have a couple of these Tesla destination chargers and one Clipper Creek uh, J1772 plug that will level two charge the, my car. Arriving here with 87 miles of range left. All right, plugged it in and yeah, uh, 6.3 kilowatts out of 240 volts uh, approximately. And should be, yeah, eight hours, maybe 100% overnight. 